Jamaican women have been making their mark in all facets of life on the island, including politics. Most noted among them, Portia Simpson Miller, who became Jamaica's first female prime minister in March 2006. A month before, Mrs. Simpson Miller became the first female president of the People's National Party. In 2007, she lost the general election, becoming the first female leader of the opposition. By 2011, Mrs. Simpson Miller again made history, becoming the first female to be elected head of government twice. And in 2016, Mrs. Simpson Miller made history once more, becoming the first female leader of the opposition to hold that title twice. A long-serving parliamentarian, Mrs. Simpson Miller was first elected to represent Southwest St. Andrew in Parliament in 1976. Other Jamaican women paved the way for Portia Simpson Miller. In 1944, Iris Collins became the first woman elected member of Parliament in Jamaica. Iris King served as the first female mayor of Kingston between 1958 and 1959. Another leading woman was Rose Leon, who became the first female cabinet minister in the 1953 Jamaica Labour Party administration. Mrs. Leon served as Minister of Health and Social Welfare. Madame Rose Leon, as she was called, again made history in 1972 when she served the People's National Party government as local government minister, the only Jamaican to serve as minister in two governments. Other female political firsts include Violet Nielsen, who served as Speaker of the House of Representatives between 1997 and 2003. There is also Syringa Marshall Burnett, the first female president of the Senate. Mrs. Marshall Burnett served from 1995 to 2007. The public service is another area of Jamaican life where women have shown their dominance. In 2007, Zayla Makala became the island's first female Chief Justice. The head of the Supreme Court has had an extensive legal career in the public service beginning in 1976. Another legal first came on March 4, 2008, when Paula Llewellyn became the first woman to be appointed Director of Public Prosecutions. On January 16, 2015, Arlene Harrison Henry became the first woman in Jamaica to be appointed Public Defender. The Constabulary Force also has pioneering women in its ranks. In 1977, Superintendent Ione Ramsey Nelson became the first female motorcycle police. She bettered that first when she became the first woman to pass the rank of corporal in the traffic division, and later, the first to head the division in the corporate area. On May 1, 2003, Javine Bent became the island's first female deputy commissioner of police. A pioneer in the force, DCP Bent was the first woman assistant commissioner in charge of training and first female area commander. In the civil service, Carmen Campbell Belton was the first woman permanent secretary. In 1975, Carmen Paris became the first female Jamaican ambassador. She served in France. And in April 2008, Pamela Monroe Ellis became the island's first female auditor general. Jamaica's women leading the charge to develop nation status by the year 2030.